I wanted this process to be over before I can boldly talk about it. This video is to tell you how you can get a job through an agent without paying the agent. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fajira. If you're joining me for the very first time, I'm so happy. When I mean happy, I'm really excited about today's video. So please like and share with your friends and loved ones. This pattern may just save somebody. It has saved two people now that got in touch with me, which is why I'm so excited to share this method with you on how you can get a job through an agent that wants to collect money from you and yet without paying that agent. <laughs> I know it's kind of confusing, but I'm really excited that uh, what we did actually worked. And I'm sure most of those agents will be watching this video because some of them have been in touch with me telling me that the prices are up to 18, 20,000 pounds and so on. I don't even know how they even thought that somebody can save this amount of money to pay for a care visa or whatever. But there are a few people have actually spoken to and they said they paid up to 25,000 pounds just to get the care, whatever, and move to the UK. So guys, if you're joining me for the very first time, my name is Fajira and I'm so happy to have you all in our beautiful family and I create contents on how you can migrate to the UK, jobs with visa sponsorship in the UK, UK immigration updates, life in the UK, scholarships in the UK. So if there are topics that you're interested in, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload a new video, you're definitely going to be the very first person to see that video. So I'm so excited about today's video, like I said. A subscriber contacted me in August this year. To be honest, I didn't really want to do much because I was here at the time, I was just recovering and so on. And she got in touch with me that she got an agent that uh, she was going to do CUA Suite. And all she wanted me to do was for me to verify if the agent is a good agent blah 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 and you know the funny thing is that most of the agents back in their countries they know how to even get these uses than those agents in the uk but remember there have been so many fakes last week i was able to check some uses that were sent to me out of i think i received about seven from my viewers and subscribers and by the time i checked only two only two were original CUSs, which is wrong. I don't know why somebody would take that kind of money and still not even deliver. You have taken up to 18,000 pounds for five years because this was what this lady told me that the agent wanted her to pay. Why won't you just deliver and give them the right thing they, they have paid for? I felt really bad because we started contacting these agents and they were nowhere to be found. I have ranked those numbers and now they are even just going direct to voicemail without anybody picking up after they have taken this money from people and they have given them fake CUSs, which is wrong. So now when this lady contacted me, she said the agent wanted £18,000 for five years, CUS with job and everything and so on, but she wanted me to find out if is a genuine source. I said, well, I don't have the capability to find out if it's a genuine source until the CUS is out. That's when I can verify if it's a genuine CUS or not. So she came back to me and she was like, oh, Fajira, please, I want you to also check with this company. And I said to her that this agent is doing his job. And for me, I don't see any reason why I should just be contacting somebody that we've never met before to verify. And so at some point, because she was pestering me and I think the Holy Spirit was working in her. Like something in me was like, just check with this babe and find out everything from her. So I called her and I asked her, have you paid anything to this agent? And she said, no, that she hasn't paid anything, but she's got the money to pay, which is about 20 something million in our currency. But she's just scared because she doesn't want to go and pay to the agent and is a fake agent because of the news she has been hearing that was why she booked for a consultation for me to help her so i say you know what let's try this deal i've tried it with one person the first person i'm not going to mention her own because hers took time and she's still in the process of getting it but the second person got her own even before the first person we tried this pattern so i say you know what be in touch with the agents but don't let the agent know that you're also in touch with me and she said okay i said and i made that understood that lots of companies are closing have seen people got in cuss today and the next day the companies have closed and with that if you apply for a visa it's straight refusal i can't count how many refusals i've seen in the past few days 
in course of doing consultation for people because some companies will just give you their CS to go and apply for a visa and home office picks on them and once they start investigation no visa will be approved and they will definitely find something wrong with the organization and they'll withdraw the license so i told her go get in touch with the agent tell the agent that um uh, because you are aware of what is going on in the uk with cuscs and all of that you would like to know the company that is hiring you this company is in hall and she went back and spoke to the agent and further from the agent showed the agent her bank statement like okay that she he needed some deposit and so on and you know that particular agent somebody has told me about that agent before but i really didn't follow up to find out the end on how the process went but the person hasn't relocated yet so when she came up with that i didn't want to you know spoil her mind i didn't even mention anything like that so i just told her it was at the end of it now i told her that somebody has told me about that agent but i didn't want to be the one to say oh don't do because of and in the end you say it was fragile you know how people push blames on people so I said, go and get, tell the agent that you want to know the name of the company so we can also check to me too. I want to know the company myself so I can verify and possibly ring the company. So she went, the agent gave out two companies and we went to check. Those companies are on the license sponsors list, but they are kind of new companies. And like I said, you could see a company there today and the next day the company is gone. I ran the company to find out if they are actually recruiting and they said yes. And I said that, that somebody contacted uh, a friend of mine to tell them that they are recruiting but they will have to pay some money for it and I wanted to find out if that is true he, the woman I spoke to was like no no we don't do any of that here we don't please please can you give us a contact of the person that did this that did that the agent or whatever and so on and that's okay before we do that please where is the application link? If you are recruiting at the moment, can you please send me the application link? Let me share with my sister so she can apply. And they said, uh, they asked me some few questions. Does she drive? I said, yes. Is she? Can she send us a video while she's driving? Does she have international driving license? Does she have a TB and all of that? I said, she's, she's got everything. She just need a job to sponsor her. And we got in touch with somebody that was asking for money, which is why I'm calling to find out if we can pay you directly. Maybe it will be cheaper for us because the person is calling a lot of money. She, the lady was like, don't pay to anybody, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, she sent me the, the link and everything and I gave to her to just apply. Let's keep trying. So the agent was constantly in touch. I have given you the name of the company. Now you're not talking to me again, blah, blah, blah. The, the CSs are all going, you know, plenty, plenty. So I said, don't mind, just apply. Luckily for her, she was invited for an interview and she did very well during an interview. And she has a nursing background and it was quite easy for them to accept her after she has sent the video that she drives and everything, she sent everything to them. After the interview, they requested for all of that, she forwarded to them and she had everything, which is why I always advise that if you're planning to move to the UK, please ensure you start gathering everything. I know a lot of people will say, Fadria, I've gotten this, I had it for a few months and it got expired, I wasn't able to get a job. You don't know when it's your turn. You don't know when is your time. I know it's even also expensive to start gathering the documents and everything, but it is very, good it is important you have them ready because if she didn't have them ready they will go for those that are ready so fortunately she got the job and we didn't pay anything they sent her offer later uh, they sent her her cos and they didn't pay for the visa fee she had to pay the visa fee we did the visa application for her she had to pay for her visa fee for herself and her family and the maintenance was ticked we're in the process she told she told me the agent called that i was really upset i was saying all sorts of things that the person that owns the company is upset with the nephew did she contact any company like that she said no she did it from what uh, he said he said because she's the only one he has given that company name so that problem would have come from her i understand but now the person who needs this money is the nephew of the care owner who is doing this business with the agents I don't even know how they do it with this. Now, even if the nephew of the care owner who is the one requesting for the money really needs this money, it's not supposed to be 18,000 pounds for five years. You can just take small things uh, that you will use and, you know, enjoy yourself. So this opened my eyes to knowing that a lot of care owners, they are not aware of what is happening in their offices, apart from the greedy one that actually 
opened that care home to collect money from people a lot like i never thought of this before but with this lady's process i realized that a lot of the care owners a lot of the top management in the care organizations they don't know what is happening it is the other people under them maybe relatives that have access to their uh, recruitment whatever they are the ones that are doing all of this business so the agent got and was saying i'm going to make trouble with you why did you call the care home because the nephew of the owner has a problem now with the owner and so on and from my heart i know it was only you i'm not saying this will work for everybody but i'm sharing this because if that agent was reasonable i'm sure this lady wouldn't have come to me to verify or to find out if she can proceed but because she was going to be parting with 18,000 pounds, just do the maths. Please, if you have had this kind of experience, leave your suggestion in the comment section. Also do share this video so people can learn from it. This is to show you that you can actually get that care job on your own. Also through an agent without paying a dime, without paying anything like this lady. At the end of the day, she got a problem with the agent because the agent knew that she was the only one he gave that scare home and so on. And I don't know if the nephew had access, the guy he was working with, if he had access to find out if it was the same name that the agent gave to him. We, we don't really care. We don't want to know what is going on. But the bottom line is she was able to get that same job that she was meant to pay £18,000 through this method. And that's to say, if she can do it, you too can do it. You don't really have to pay. You can work with an agent without even having to pay. Actually, try this with, with the first person, but company CS is still pending with home office. Home office has not approved. I think they said they have requested for it, but it has not been approved. Like you all know, I've been saying that in my videos, that there have been so much delays with issuing of CUSs now. So that process is still on. But this other second person, as I speak to you, I know she's watching this video now. I'm not going to mention your name. Next thing you guys can do for me is to share this video, ask your friends to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Because as I speak to you, she's gotten her CS. We don't have this application. We are just waiting for home office decision. So instead of her to spend that £18,000, we just paid for priority service, which our visa may come out anytime from now. But we don't know. Like I said there have been delays with that now. So we don't know how soon that is going to be out. So this is just to let you know that... Uh, not all care owners are aware of what is going on. They've got other people that works with them that are actually using them to make money without them knowing. I used to be very mad with care owners thinking that they are part of this deal. This is not to say we don't have care owners that are part of this deal. I've seen some. There are some that they are really, they are the ones. In fact, there is one that I have promised that I'm going to expose him if he doesn't refund the money to the applicants. So I've seen a lot like, and at the same time, it opened my eyes to see that not all of them are into this, but the people that are working for them without them knowing. So this was her, this beautiful lady got her serious through an agent without paying for it. I'm not saying this is hundred percent good, but for an agent to come and tell you that if you pay 18,000 pounds, that means that agent to I don't understand so i don't know if that agent may be watching this video i really don't care other agents too that are like that i really don't care but eighteen thousand hmm. pounds i don't even know how you think these people will make eighteen thousand pounds to just pay to you so we've managed to get one out we are waiting for the second person to get our own always ask them what is the name of the company so you can do your own verification yourself please always ask them so this is what it is by god's grace once her visa is out she will be moving to the uk i really don't know and don't even intend to know what would have happened between the agents and his associates so we don't care if we can do it this way let's do it this way to save you money save your time save you everything and above all you will move to the uk and still have the hours you're looking for because a lot of agents now even some employers will lie to you that they've got hours but they don't have they are just collecting money to build themselves meanwhile they don't have anything to offer to you which is wrong very very wrong that's why home office is closing a lot of care homes now 
So before you start any process with any agents or with anybody, ask them to give you the company's name. Go and verify yourself. If it takes for you to call them, call them. But don't go and mention money. Just be diplomatic. If you don't know how to talk on the phone too, please don't even bother calling them. Okay? So we've actually come to the end of this video and I hope you find it helpful. And if you do find it helpful, please like, share and subscribe if you're yet to join our beautiful family. Until I see you with another tricks in my next video, do take care and have a lovely day. Thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.